Hey y'all, Coach in the Fight here. Looking at some current events going on in the world. And, you know, I believe NASA just killed us. I, I, I don't know for sure, of course, but let me show you something. Now, we're over here in the Third Testament of the Bible. I've been familiar with the scripture since 2018. Actually been doing classes on it. If you haven't heard of it, you can check our classes. And in the description, there are links to this book and the audio is really good. Now we're over here in chapter 50 of the third testament of the Bible. It's on culture and science. And I want to bring you down here to this passage here that I believe is relevant to something that NASA is doing or has done already. Anyway, verse 34 says, if humanity is not in harmony with the universal law that governs all creation, there shall come a lack of control that manifests itself in the force of the elements. And this is actually confirmed in the keys of Enoch, which says that the farther we move away from our father's laws, particularly his feast days and his covenant, the more the elements will actually harm us. So that's why we're in a drought and, and all of these bad things are going on as far as the weather is concerned is because we have abandoned our father and, you know, all that he considers holy. And so, you know, the elements are turning against us and it's, it's going to get worse. But anyway, verse 35 says, man has dismantled the atoms and his evolved brain takes advantage of that discovery to obtain greater power and cause death. Now, this, I believe, is talking about CERN here, where it says dismantled the atoms. That is exactly what they're doing at CERN, guys. They are dismantling atoms and they're not ashamed of it. They're not trying to hide it. That's what they're doing. They call it an atom smasher. In other words, they are smashing atoms, taking them apart and you know seeing what comes out we're doing this under our evolved brains taking advantage but it says here for the power to cause death you know so are they going to use CERN as a weapon I don't know verse 36 says if man had evolved spiritually in step with his science and intellect he would have taken advantage of the discovery of new elements for the benefit of mankind but his spiritual backwardness is great his selfish mentality has channeled his creative force to the detriment of mankind to use the elements of destruction, leaving behind the principles of love and justice taught by our Messiah. So it's saying here that it was OK to understand this knowledge of science and atoms and, you know, all of this that we know now, but we, we chose to use it for harm. You know, if we, we could have chosen to use it for benefit. And so here's the main part that I wanted to bring out here. It says, and so when you see the fire rain from the sky, it shall not be that the heavens have opened, nor that the sun tortures you, but the work of man spreading death and destruction. So now, like I said, I've been familiar with this book since 2018, and I've actually been trying to figure this verse out since 2018. Why or how is it that this verse is true? It's saying, and so when you see the fire rain from the sky, okay, so fire coming from the sky, how is man creating fire coming from the sky? At first I was thinking this had something to do with a nuclear bomb coming, you know, through the clouds or something like that, but I wasn't so sure. And so I've struggled with this. How is how is man causing fire to rain from the sky? But then the next part of this kind of puts off the whole nuclear thing, because look how it says it shall not be that the heavens have opened, nor that the sun tortures you, but the work of man spreading death and destruction. So I'm thinking, how is it or what is it that man has done in order to do this? And enter the double asteroid redirection test. And I think it's kind of cute how Google just shifted our page, tilted it for us as some type of explosion. Let's see if it does it again. Yeah. So obviously Google is proud of what they have done. They actually changed the whole page sideways. But let me just read it here. It says, Double asteroid redirection test was a NASA space mission aimed at testing a method of planetary defense against near Earth objects. So, in other words, they shot down 
a near Earth object. They shot down a, the moon of an asteroid. It was designed to access how much a spacecraft impact deflects an asteroid through a transfer of momentum. The asteroid selected for the test poses no actual threat to Earth. And that should be noted that they shot this asteroid down, but it poses no impact to Earth. And you guys should study on your own. I didn't plan on going in, into too um, much detail in this, but from what I've gathered, this asteroid, it was actually um, an asteroid and its moon had an orbit around the sun in two years. So every two years, this particular asteroid was coming close to our Earth, say a near Earth object. So every two years, this object was coming close to our Earth. And that's important here in the year 2022 because they actually just shot its moon. And, and, and if you know anything about the Earth's moon, you know that it actually regulates the Earth. Our moon is what stabilizes our Earth. It turns out if we did not have a moon, we would not only have no way of keeping track of the seasons or even daytime, the sun would rise in any part of the sky it wanted to because the earth would be tumbling through space freely. So we have a moon that actually stabilizes the earth. So this asteroid that's orbiting our sun and coming close to our earth every two years would have been regulated by its moon too, right? So the moons are the regulators of the planets. It keeps them in orbit. It keeps them on a certain path. And here we have a big rock out there that's minding its own business in our solar system, already coming close to our Earth. And we just destroyed its regulator. We just shot its moon out of the sky. We just spent millions, if not billions of dollars to destroy an object in space that had nothing to do with us. And now we're sitting back waiting to see what happens. It could be that these people have just killed us. And when you think about all that we are expecting in the year 2024, like we said, that asteroid was on a two year orbit. So we just shot it this year, which means that it'll be coming back around in the year 2024. Well, I believe and I must say, I believe because I don't know. I believe this could have something to do with what we read over in Zechariah chapter 14 and verse four, where it says, and his feet shall stand in that day up on the Mount of Olives, which is before Jerusalem on the east. And the Mount of Olives shall cleave in the midst thereof toward the east and toward the west. And there shall be a great valley and half of the mountain shall remove towards the north and half of it towards the east. Now, this is talking about the Mount of Olives over there in Jerusalem, like it says there. But it's talking about a rock coming and destroying this mountain, even turning it into a valley. This is associated with the terrible apocalyptic events that we're hearing, you know. And so you can imagine how much destruction this is going to cause, destroying the economies of the world and everything will be affected by this huge rock coming and hitting the earth. This is what Daniel was talking about over in chapter two in verse 34, when he says, thou saw till that a stone was cut out without hands, which smote the image upon his feet that were of iron and clay and break them in pieces. So here we know that there's a huge rock that's coming to destroy our economy and destroy the beast systems of the world. That's how the beast ends is by this stone that's actually going to hit the earth. So is this asteroid, which from what I understand is in the dragon constellation, Dracona or something like that. This asteroid was sitting in the dragon constellation, reference Revelation chapter 12, minding its own business. And we just knocked it off its kilter. It's like a huge boat out there and we decided to destroy its rudder. And now it is free floating in space and I don't know, guys. I know the guys in NASA is patting themselves on the back and congratulating themselves, but they could have actually turned this thing toward us and it can end up destroying our economy and it can end up destroying the beasts of this world. So I don't know. I personally believe I'm just now understanding after years and years of praying on this. How is it that man is doing this? How did he cause this destruction? Well, I believe we know now. And like I said, I believe this is only what I think. So feel free to tell me what you think in the comment section and I'll see you there.